In order to become millionaires, we can't just sit and wait for the money to come our way. We need to start acting like millionaires do in order to get the same results that they have, therefore become millionaires. If you want to learn the five traits of a seven-figure entrepreneur, then keep on watching. Hey there, my name is Anna and I talk all about social media, personal branding, and online businesses every week. I am currently running a business that is about to hit the six-figure mark, but in reality, my goal is to hit the seven-figure mark. That is exactly why for the past three years I have made sure that I'm always surrounding myself with seven and eight figure earners so I can see what they do on a daily basis what are their habits and then this is how I learn how to acquire the same habits in order to get the same results I decided to share in this video the five traits that I always see in every single millionaire that I meet number one they are coachable it's very important that we all understand that we are just starting out in this process and when this happens we need to emulate someone else who already has the success that we want to have so in order to do that we need to be coachable I always see entrepreneurs who earn at least six or seven figures and I see them having mentors I see them reading books I see them investing in even more educational programs they are always trying to be coach even after having the results that they already have if you don't have any mentors just yet just start by messaging someone who has the results that you want to have make sure that they are also accessible you don't want to message a famous person and not get any response you want to make sure that this is someone who's also where you want to be and who can give you advice number two they read I'm not telling you that you have to wake up every single day and read a book, but you should make the conscious effort to read at least one book per month. The reason why is because when you read books, you're expanding your knowledge and you're looking at different perspectives of different topics in the world. In order to acquire a new mindset and learn new income producing activities or strategies, I recommend you to start by reading books. If you go to the house of a seven or a six figure entrepreneur, you will most likely find books. In my website, I share with you some of my favorite books but today I want to share three specific ones with you first we have high performance habits by Brandon Bouchard then we have ask and it is given by Esther and Jerry Hicks and we also have breaking the habit of being yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza and this is actually the one that I'm currently reading so if you decide to read this one as well make sure that you send me a DM and let's start talking about books number three seven figure entrepreneurs outsource their tasks and this is something that I'm doing at this point of my career and the reason why is because we are so much more productive when we are in our zone of genius. For example, I love creating videos, but if I were to edit every single one of my videos, it would be really hard for me to do more income producing activities like reaching out to clients or talking to my students or promoting my services. But what I decided to do it was to teach my little brother how to edit YouTube videos and now that he helps me do that, I get to use that time that I could have spent editing the video in something more productive. The same thing happens for my digital marketing agency. I have designers who help me create amazing work for my clients. If I were to spend most of my time creating that work myself, I wouldn't have time to make more money. And I realized that every single millionaire or seven figure entrepreneur that I meet always has an assistant or someone who helps them do things that are out of their zone of genius. Honestly, if someone is better than you in a specific topic or task, you should pay them for them to do it for you. Now, at the beginning, this might be a little hard, especially if you're not making enough money yet to even sustain your own lifestyle. Like, how are you gonna sustain someone else's lifestyle? But that is exactly why you have to be patient. And as soon as you see that you have the ability to pay someone else because you're getting a lot of clients coming in, you won't feel bad doing this and you will realize that you will be more productive. Number four, they set intentions. And I'm talking about almost everything they do. Now, I'm not telling you that you have to plan every single minute of the day, but there is nothing wrong with doing it every once in a while. There are days when I wake up super inspired to follow my planner and I do everything on it. But there are other days when I don't have the same inspiration and that's completely fine. I have learned how to accept that. But when I do have the inspiration, I love setting intentions for the day. And if you ask a millionaire what he's gonna do tomorrow, he probably already has an intention for tomorrow. And this even applies for your time off. I set an intention every single day to take breaks, to rest, 
to go on social media intentionally, to watch TV, to spend time with my friends and with my family, that is completely fine because I'm doing everything intentionally. Time is our most important asset. I'm not wasting any of it. I'm making sure that I'm planning as much as I can and setting intentions. And number five, they execute and they do exactly what they said they were gonna do. You see, writing affirmations, manifesting everything to the universe, it's awesome. I know that it works because I apply it every single day. I generally have faith that I'm gonna get everything that I want. But when you put in the hard work inside of that formula, you're gonna see how the results are gonna come way faster. This way, you're not waiting years for things to happen. For example, you cannot dream to be a YouTuber with millions of subscribers if you don't do your first video. You can't have the partner of your dreams if you don't put yourself out there and you start dating. You can't have thousands of students on your online course if you haven't even created it. Motivation is good, but motivation is not good enough because it fades over time and it fades very quickly. And there are gonna be days when you're gonna feel down and you're not gonna feel it. So during those days, you have to have something called discipline because discipline is what's gonna create that dream that you have in your mind, it's gonna create it into the physical world. I know that if you start applying these habits and these traits from seven figure entrepreneurs, you will be getting closer to your goals financially. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to learn more about personal branding, entrepreneurship, social media, and online business every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.